The West Coast Eagles is where we start. Another heavy loss on the weekend. They're languishing in the bottom three of the ladder where they have been for some time now. Caro, and you bring some news fresh off the presses. Yeah, well, look, my understanding is that, uh, first of all, everyone seems to accept now the report out of the West Australian last week about players text, men text messaging people outside the club having lost support for the coach is true. But it is also true there are players who lose faith with the coach at various times. But no one from the club has denied these text messages. Just to briefly give you some background on Adam Simpson's situation. There was a view late last year when the club decided that he would keep his job that many on... The, well, I know many on the board thought he should go. He was supported, however, by the president, Paul Fitzpatrick, and more famously by Justin Langer, the former Australian cricket coach. The view was that that had a tough COVID as a club, even though Adam sent out the wrong messages early in COVID, he deserved another go, and it had terrible injuries over the last couple of years. His extension or allow the reason he was allowed to stay and the reason he committed to stay was that he wanted and he said he was going to develop this club. He was going to be part of the rebuild and you've talked about the list many times, Kane, and the mistakes they made. He was going to develop the younger players. Let's have a listen before I go into detail about that about what let's listen to what Adam Simpson has said about that in recent days. There's just play the young players and just get them in there and see how they go which we've done for a large part. They've got to have a bit of form as well. Um, but I think we need to make a couple of changes. Some will be forced and some will be more about our direction. So this is probably a period where we explore different um, avenues, different positions, different players. My understanding, Sam, is the club now believes Adam Simpson isn't the man to be a development coach. He is a very good strategic coach. He's a process-driven coach. He is not a development coach. And he has not... Well, since the disaster against Adelaide back in May, he's pretty much reneged on his promise to develop the younger players. Yes, many of the younger players have been played, but here are some key ones. Zane Drew, Harry Edwards, Ryan Marrick, in and out, um, subbed in and out of the team, and, of, and of course, uh, Jack Williams, 198 centimetres. Why isn't Jack Williams playing every game? when Jack Darling is playing every game. He's just not kept delivered on his part of the bargain. And that is why I think the club has now given up on Adam Simpson and why he won't be coach next year. And that's where the board needs to look at themselves. Like, well, we've sat on this program for so long and said, this is going to take five, six, seven years probably for West Coast to do what they needed to do to play those young players and to rebuild this football club. And Adam Simpson was never going to be the coach to rebuild this club. So the board that has made that decision has made the error to support him and the keep him... The blood is on their hands. I'm completely 100%. Well, Adam this Simpson has been... said he was going to develop the players. That's do, what he said do, he was do, going do to do. Do we look at the recruiting staff, though? Because Well, I, he's I've... pointed the finger at the recruiters, yeah, because... but the club are now pointing the finger back at him and saying, don't point the finger mm. at the recruiters. Yes, we might need more development coaches, but you said you, I, the, you've got to develop these guys. I, I know you you've do, but them. you can also see enough to say, you know what, I'm not willing to replace some of these players. I, I don't want to replace Jack Darling with a guy that is not going to be on the list within a year look or two. Who, look who they've taken, Lordo, in recent years compared, Jack compared to North Melbourne. Look, look at how the, long Tom Hawkins Look at the talk. talent that is available to North Melbourne supporters now when they go to games and say, geez, I can't wait to see McKercher today. I can't wait to see Shees or how many touches Wardlaw's going to have. And they've missed a couple. Like, Horn Francis is now playing for another team. Will Phillips hasn't been the player they thought. Who do West Coast have, Cornsy? Well, they've got Harley Reid. No, but he's apart... the most exciting player in yeah, football. I, I, I said this before, though, Caro. Like, even if Harley is the second coming of Dustin Martin, which, by the way, he may be, you need more than him to rebuild. Oh, if no, they're just they working out right now... Picking, picking if, him. If they just are working out now that, oh, we may need to start the rebuild now, what have they been doing? No, they said that years? a year ago and they believed Adam Simpson when he said he would stick to it. And I think since that loss to Adelaide, the wheels have fallen Well, they're off. kidding. The board are kidding, the the board are the kidding themselves. Because anyone a thousand kilometres away can see that this club needed a new coach. It needed a circuit breaker. Yep. No coach in the history of, of sport has seen a record like that and survived. And the language Language has changed, and I don't know when the time frame is, but it's clearly coming to a head. And, and even Adam Simpson, I think, is daring them to make a decision and pay him out on his future. You know, my son's here, just in case. You know, this is my last press conference. We're legitimately starting that that build now, and it's not round 17. Everything's away we go. It's going to take time. So whoever's coaching at West Coast, it's it's, it's a longer term um, direction we're going in. So I sort of know how long the road's going to be. Uh, I'm up for it. 
But if the club's not, then they're not. So that's that's fine. That's I'm okay with my football mortality. It's 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 okay. Clearly, he's a man who now almost believes and is probably accepts the decision. But it's just worth pointing out, Sam, that you've got Jamie Graham, you've got Dean Cox and you've got Ashley Hansen, three former West Coast players, all doing really well as assistant coaches. Everyone talks about Dean Cox, but there's three straight off the top who are all being looked at now by West Coast as potential Why are they looking at former players? Why don't they just find the best candidate? Well, they're looking at three really good former players who are also doing really good jobs as assistant coaches. Before we None of them are on, duds. Would he have been... Uh, if it was didn't have a two-year contract and so much money to pay out, would they have moved him on? Yes, no. last, yes think? I think they would have. No, I, I dispute that. I dispute that. West Coast isn't worried about money. It's costed them money to keep him in terms of membership and sponsors. I was at the game yesterday and I think the players need to take some responsibility and their leaders do as well because I was watching the coin toss and I was, why, why is Jaden Hunt tossing the coin after the week that they have had, after the reports of those test messages, after the game against... S, uh, Hawthorne the week before and Jaden Hunt because he's playing game 150 is tossing the coin I want my captain to shake hands with Max Gorn then come back to the group we're kicking this way and address the group this is the response that they got in the first quarter and you may say it's pedantic there's Jermaine Jones not even standing the mark giving up on that not doing the little things that is shocking body language in the first quarter here's the captain Oscar Allen went behind the ball to try and save the day well he's just pushed out the way by he's an been inexperienced out with player for a long time. Caro you don't accept efforts like that when you're the captain of the footy club. He did. He didn't touch the footy in the first quarter. And these are the efforts that they continually delivered yesterday against a side that was much hungrier. Look at the chase there from Witherden. Why is he pressing there? The easy overlap from Melbourne. This ball movement was as good as Melbourne have moved the football because their defence broke down. Two players alone inside Ford 50. Jaden Hunt's tossing the coin. Be a captain, go and shake the other captain, address the group and start better than that. So it's not just on Adam Simpson, oh, it's about the leadership case, of the I'm group. With you. But when players are sending texture in the week on the coach, I think that's the biggest problem of all. Yeah, but when I, players are saying, Sam, we don't want this guy to go for all, you, there's no turning but, back but from like, You guys have been in footy clubs half of your lives. Yeah. Like, even when you're winning, there, there would be players sending text messages. No, I mean, but the I'm fact sure. that it's getting out. The fact I mean, that it's getting everyone out Everyone accepts it's true, mm. and everyone thinks Adam Simpson will be gone by the end of the year. Could be this week, could be next week, uh, but he won't be there next yeah, year. The, the side that beat the Melbourne, Max Gorn, he's looked banged up uh, for a couple of weeks. I was watching him against it's Brisbane, and he, he didn't touch it late in the game. He only had eight touches. He was lauded for the second quarter for his ruck, ruck tap work, but nothing around the ground. So I've been watching him closely, out injured in this week. And you start to think about, I know Corns, you've been big on the Brody Grundy release. Uh, you just wonder where he's at. He's been a warrior for this club. Uh, and so now, reliant on him. And they've got, they're not going to win the flag this year. They're going to get one to show for it. And I just wonder where, what the, the future holds for Max Gorn in the next few well, years. Well, they sort of yep. brought in Bro Brody Grundy for that reason. Exactly. And they let him go for free when he was under contract for four years. One of the biggest list errors you'll make.